Hello, Sir Rover here, and today, in honor of the 2018 Masters in the PGA Tour, we're going to be playing Sim Golf, and we're going to be playing at Augusta National. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Alright, so here we are on the first hole. It is t titled T Olive. It is a par four. My first shot lands just on the edge of the fairway. Lining up for the second shot, and drop it in nice and soft at the pin. And I think those cranes kicked it a couple feet farther than it should have been. And just putting it in. Or birdie. All right, the second hole, titled Pink Dogwood, is a par five. First shot, hopefully trying to get over the trees and make it land onto the fairway. Don't know from this camera angle. And we're good. It's a really long hole from there to there. Our partner, Lucky Lindy, wasn't so lucky on that shot. Our second shot, just to get an approach. A little shorter than expected, but still on the fairway. Again, Lucky Lindy, not so lucky in this situation. Lining up for the third shot, hopefully just to drop it right at the pin. Within eight feet. to put it in for another birdie. Our third hole, titled Flowering Peach, is a par four. First shot. Right down the middle of the fairway. Second shot, going right for the pin. And it's in the hole for an eagle.
called Flowering Crab Apple is a short par 3. So going straight for that pin, first shot. And to tap that in, or birdie. Just like that. Fifth hole, a par four titled Magnolia. Deciding to play it safe. Drop it in high and soft, right onto the fairway. Second shot. Can't quite make it to the green. It rolls right up onto it. An amazing shot for a chance at birdie. And Lucky Lindy got a lucky bounce. Oh, couldn't quite get the birdie. We'll have to settle for par. Hole number six, Juniper. There's another short par three. First shot. Within four feet of the hole. birdie. And we'll get birdie. Number seven, Pampas, a par four. Ooh, not quite sure if that made rough or fairway. And it has been labeled in the rough. The second shot will be a tad more difficult. Squeaks it onto the green for a chance at birdie. Doesn't get it. I'll have to settle for par. Our eighth hole, titled Yellow Jasmine. Another long. 
par five. First shot. Makes it right down the middle of the fairway. Now for the second shot. Can't quite make it all the way up the hill. We'll have to approach. Just making sure the players in front don't get hit. Here's the second shot. Lines up for a great approach. Third shot going right for the pin. And it's in the hole for the second eagle of the day. Rounding out the front nine is hole nine with Carolina Cherry. Up downhill par four. And first shot. Rolls it down the hill right into the middle of the fairway. Oh, what's this? Oh, slightly to the right. And second shot. Trying to get this right at the pin. Short lands in the rough. Third shot. Going for a nice little chip approach. Close enough to hopefully settle for par. Saddle for par. Starting off on the back nine is Camilla. Tricky looking par four. First shot. Bounces off the fairway into the rough under a tree. See the recovery. Second shot. Under the trees again. This is not looking good. Let's hope that third shot will be much better. Again, lands in the rough. 
fourth shot, just trying to get it towards the green. Gets it on the green. We'll have to go for bogey. No, misses. Double bogey. Misses again. Oh, complete breakdown. Now triple bogey. And again, the fans are stunned. Going for plus four. Cover on hole number 11, titled White Dogwood, par 4. As we see, all of the cranes on the field have congregated into a little pile, minus one or two. First shot on the fairway, on for the second shot. Roll it right up against the pin. Well, it's going towards the water. And barely makes it under the green. And now for a chance at par. Hole 12, Golden Bell, short par 3. First shot. Gets it on the green, and now for a chance at birdie. And get. Hole 13, Azalea, a very long par 5. Actually, for this tournament, it has been labeled a par 4. Second shot, coming from the middle of the fairway. Going to play it safe. Approach, third shot. Right at the pin, within six feet, for a chance at par. And gets par. On to hole 14, titled Chinese Fur. First shot on the par four.
barely keeps it on the fairway. Second shot. Going for the green. It's a lucky bounce at the same time. This will go for an easy birdie. And he gets it. Fire Thorn, the last par five of the tournament. First shot, trying to go right down the middle of the fairway. Perfect shot. Second shot now. Just to approach. Using this approach, go for the green and a third shot. This sets up a birdie opportunity. Lucky Lindy, our partner in today's tournament, shooting from the food shack and we'll get birdie last part three of the tournament red bud hole number 16 first shot almost bounces into the hole. We got a birdie on the last hole, on to hole 17 now, Nandia, a long par 4 with lots of bumps. As you can see by the first shot, it rolls into the rough. Second shot from the rough. Trying to go for the green. And we'll end up in the sand trap. Third shot from the sand. Sitting up for par. And we'll save par. Hole 18, Holly, a par 4.
or shop. Right down the middle of the fairway. Setting up for a second shot. Right at the pin. If this goes in, you'll tie the leader. And will not. Chance for birdie. We'll get birdie, finishing one shot behind the leaders. So there's our results of the 2018 Masters Sim Golf Tournament. Congratulations to Bernie Longer, and I unfortunately finished second. Thanks for watching.